It's you. Oh, now there's voice acting. What the hell? Hmm? You're that so-called detective who thinks you solve cases with gut feelings and instinct, aren't you? Do I know you? I'm Emiliana, Emiliana Perfetti, forensic analyst and profiling expert. Unlike some people, I base my deductions on hard evidence, facts and figures. Well, that all sounds very impressive. Yeah, impressively stuck up. Anyway, I'm investigating this case. To be perfectly honest, your involvement is a headache I could do without. You should just leave it to the professionals. Well, as long as the case is solved in the end, does it matter if it's facts or fortuity that get you there? There's no doubt in my mind that I'll solve this mystery. Oh? Uh -huh. So, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. If you call rolling dice and drawing tarot cards work. Catherine Layton. Just because you're Professor Layton's daughter. Va bene. We'll see how far your methods get you. Surprisingly far, considering we need to complete the game with her. Who was that room, Inspector Hastings? He's a profiler. She's pretty well respected down at the yard. Emilia Perfetti, her name. We call her Perfect Perfetti. A profiler? You mean someone who analyzes criminals and their motives? Something like that. Profile is all about evaluating physical evidence and reconstructing crime scenes and the like. Perfetti's got a real knack for figuring out details about criminals by gathering a ton of information from crime scenes and analyzing everything she finds. She helped crack a number of cases that have had trouble everyone else at the art stump. It sounds like she's a very talented lady. Yeah, and if you don't pull out your claw out your our claws out. She's going to steal our thunder and solve this, this case before we do. You're right, Cheryl. And while we're building our reputation, we could really do, do with solving high-profile cases like this ourselves. Well, I'm gonna head back to the yard and see how the investigation is progressing. What about you? I think we'll start by heading to the river, head into the river where the incidents took place. All right. Well, thanks, Cat. It's not just about pleasing the mayor, of course. It's about loneliness to enjoy the festival. I heard you loud and clear, Inspector. So we'll be running along. Yeah, I think I did everything here, so... On the move. You arrived at By the Thames. Shouldn't it be the same Thames River? Yeah. So this is where the festivities take place, is it? There's more going on than I expected, actually. Oh, look! Ice cream! Later! Yes, alright, sure, I was only joking. Investigation come first, I know, I know. Oh, fresh baked muffins. Mm, just smell that. Joking, were you? Really? You wouldn't know anything had happened, would you? Everyone seems to be having a jolly good time. But if our reporter friend Douglas Dirt is to be believed, the publics are well are well aware of the incidents. Perhaps we should talk to a few members of the public while we're here and see if we can learn anything new. Hey, it's uh what's his name? First Yes. It's uh, it's the Navy guy, the I forgot. Stage sound show soundtrack. You never know, it's best for me to keep saving because in case I do end up with a tricky puzzle. What the? Yeah. Oh. That was oddly picky. Ah, the beautiful night sky. Wait, I think... No, I didn't. Okay, let's talk to this guy first. 
Arr, have you heard rumors about what happened this morning? They say some fiend was shoved into the river and then last checked herself on in the other bank. This just like the lighting of the old things, so it is. I used to sing sea shanties about it when I was a lad. Now I'm here, I just found out about something called the Riverside Show, or devotion going off this evening. It's sad about the messing couple, missing couple and everything, but I still want to enjoy the show. Well, that wasn't exactly... Mm. Oh, wow, oh, wow! This is a Riverside Festival. I can't believe it, it's the best. I know, isn't it just the best? I suppose it is the most famous festival in London, mind you. I, I heard it was really boring though, but look at all these people here. Coming here yeah, it was just the best idea, Benji. I really want us to take part in the show of devotion tonight, but apparently you have to apply it in advance. Oh no, really? But I, but I wanted everyone to see how in love we are. It feels really like the tragic kitchen have actually attracted more people down here. Yes, it was always something of a low-key affair before the Riverside Festival. I think perhaps not, every, not very many people were ever really aware of it. So it seems that since people got rid of the incident, they decided to come down here and see what the festival was all about. That's poor taste, that is. Well, it's not the way the world, the, the world show. show. It's only when things make the headlines for whatever reason that people realize what they're missing. Much like how all, the, all these people are in the presence of a great detective at the very moment, but they have no idea. I'm sure your name will be on the paper soon, Miss Layton, don't you worry. Yes, hopefully. Anyway, we still haven't found out anything more about the incident, have we? No, there are so many people here for the festival, but no one seems to have an actual, actual seen what happened. Well, let's not, well, let's not forget the incidents took place in both banks of the river. We should go investigate the other side as well. Come along, you two. Come in, miss. Every single time we need to go to the other side, I want to press B. But I know it's not B, it's Y. So this is where the missing woman threw herself into the river then. It's, a de it's dead quiet on this bank compared to the other side where the festival happened. Yes, but there are still plenty of passerby. Somebody may have seen something. Sure, but how will they ever find them? Well, we certainly won't find them out anything unless we start asking people some questions. Oh look, there's a kitty. Yep. What the? Oh, nice. Oh, come on, yeah. I've been appearing here for a second. What? Oh. Well, I found two hint coins here, so I suppose that's better than nothing. Because I know this cat's gonna be a puzzle. Yep. That's it. Pierce my eardrums, why don't you? Hmm? Is that a puzzle he's playing? Ooh, I wonder what sort of puzzle a cat will be playing with. Yeah, a cat with a puzzle. Never seen that before. Alright, pinstripes, I'll show you how it's done. Bringing up the rear. Oh, joy. After five friends arrive at an arranged meeting place, they each describe what they could see ahead of them on the way. Here's what they all say. I could see C because we were walking together. I could see a few people ahead of me. That's what we say. C said, D, I was walking in front of A. I didn't see anyone, and B was walking behind C. Nobody overtook anyone else on the way, so who arrived last? 
Wait, 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 let me let me check. Okay, so no one overtook no one. Okay. So I could see C because we were walking together. That's A. A and C were walking together. Yeah, they were probably a couple there. B could see a few people ahead of him. Which was probably C, A, and maybe D. D said I didn't see anyone, and B was walking behind C. So it's E, maybe? No, wait. Eventually. Yeah, no, no, wait, wait, yeah. Because I could see B, C because we were walking together. So there are a couple. B was behind. Could see a few people ahead of him. D was rocking in front. Was walking in front of A. D didn't see anyone because she was in front, and B was walking behind C. So it has to be, right? I eat puzzles like this for breakfast. I ain't nothing but a hound dog. Nice. You did it. D was in front of A and A and C were together behind behind her. D was behind C and C and since it was E that saw them, he must have been right at the back. Oh, to be so laid back. How does how he does it on Mr. E? Really? There, done it. Ha! I wonder where this Moggy got the puzzle from in the first place. Meow, meow, meow. Good evening, sir. What have you caught? Anything? Oh, I fell on that fisherman, are we? What have I caught, you ask? Let me see. Fish. Yes, I've caught fish. Oh, dear me. I'm not sure where you're going to have much luck with this chap. Uh, we're investigating the incident that occurred here earlier today. Do you know anything about it? Incident? What incident? Oh, you mean that incident. So you know about it, the woman who fell into the river. You know about it? I saw it! Saw it with my own eyes! Bingo! An eyewitness straight off the bat. That is... fishy. Could you tell us what you saw, please? Mm, what? Who saw? What? Who, who saw? Me? Oh yes, you just said you saw the took the place with your own eyes. Ah yes, of course, the place. Yes, I saw them all right, although it's a new place here. So they might have been cool. No, no, not fish. We're asking about the woman who fell into the river. A woman, say? In the river? Do you know, I think I might have seen something like that. Or they die. Grr, make up your mind, old man. Holy mackerel! You dog made me jump with that odd sounding bark. But actually, it's made me remember something. Really? It was this morning, early. The sun wasn't quite up yet. I was here fishing as usual. Anyway, nothing was biting, and I was just gazing over the opposite bank. Absent, I can't read Nick's mildly when it happened. I could make out a fellow standing there. And then another figure appeared behind him and shoved him in. What happened to the man who fell in? Well, I didn't see him thrashing about or anything. He just vanished. I don't know if he went... Nix, please don't. I don't know if he went under straight away or if he was washed downstream or what. Then, whoever did it just ran off, just like that, without a second glance. It's a murder then, no doubt about it. There's more to this case, though, Ernest. Can you please carry it on, please, sir? What else can you tell us? Well, before I even had time to be surprised, a woman on this side of the river threw herself in as well. Are you certain about that? She definitely threw herself in. That's certain. I've got a memory like a... I mean, I've got a ma great memory in me. Says who? She was a young woman. She was standing not far from me. She was looking into the water with a sad look in her eyes. But I never expected her to jump in. It was the same with her. She just disappeared straight away. When she hit the water, I never saw her again. Someone must have called the old Bill because they were 
Yeah, not long after. I don't think they found her, though. Hmm. So the woman really did throw herself in. It was suicide, then. Okay, is this one of those cases where the ghosts are, or spirits or something like that, that are reenacting the, what happened? And did you get a look at, look at whoever it was who pushed them into the other bank, sir? Oh, I saw them alright, yes. But I couldn't really tell you what they looked like. The river is right here, so it's a far, fair old distance to make out of any distinguishing features or such like. So you couldn't see the culprit's face then? Sorry, not at all, no. I couldn't guess at a person's eye to let them describe their face. I see. Well, Stephen gave us a very viable statement, sir. Thank you. You've, re you've been a real help. You'll help? Why? Have you spotted us some? Don't worry, I'll grab the bait and we'll hook him together. Uh, no, no, it's alright. Thank you again for the time. Goodbye now. Hmm. The opposite bank is too far away for our fisherman friend to have made out the face of the person responsible for pushing the victim into the river. Ah, I've got an idea. Ernest, could you just sprint over, over to the other side of the river now? You sprint over? That's a Eh, that's the best part of a mile. It's not your dog's body, cat. Oh, I don't mind. Eh? You don't mind? Of course not. I'll be delightful, delighted to do it. Delighted to? Are you barking? Now, what are you going to like that for? It's because in the river he's going to say his love to her and maybe she'll say it back or something like that. That's the idea he's having here. Because again, who understands he has a crush on cat. Have you forgotten the legend? When you gaze at each other from the opposite banks of the Thames, your love will... I mean, never mind. I'll, I'll be on my way. Wasn't you have to explain your name? As quick as you can, please, Ernest. Now that's a basic, bad case of puppy love. Ah, ah, ah. Phew, that was a, a long way. Now then. This list should be over. Yes, yes, there she is. Oh god, I'm not gonna scream. You, Miss Layton! Hmm. The other bank certainly is a long way off. I can mean, make out Thomas' face from here. The old fisherman was right, it seems. Aren't you going to wave back? The little, the little tag is going to wave his arm off in a minute. It looks like wooden statements aren't going to help us identify the culprit. You have to find other avenues. You're not hearing me at all, are you? Poor pup. Throw him a bone, cat. Hmm. Two people killed in exactly the same way as the legend. Coincidence? There's no such thing as coincidence. Ah, ah, I'm, uh, back. Really? You did the animated cutscene just for that? I, uh, I was waving and waving. Did you see me, miss? Hmm? No. You didn't? Well, I was deep in thought, Ernest. Oh, I see. Uh, guys, that's pretty much catching up with me. I feel shattered all of a sudden. Well, a bit is hard on pinstripes. The, the road to true love is never easy, they say. Ernest, there's no time to catch your breath, I'm afraid. We have to find out more about the victims now. Both the man who was pushed and the woman who threw herself in were resident of Chancellor Lane, according to what Inspector Hastings told us. So let's head back there and see where we can find anything else that might be useful. Uh, 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 okay. Oh, it's his arm. Oh, don't be picky, game. We found a clue, Death Mimicking Legend. Wait, oh, it's... Wait, did you repeat it? Huh. Oh, maybe I can redo these levels later on with... Is it? Wait, it just picked something. Oh, he has a festival.
Ah, que good point. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I don't seem like I missed anything. It's rather a funny coincidence that both the man and the woman lived here on Chester Lane. You could say they were our neighbors, but I don't recall ever any having seen either of them before. Well, it's not like we've been on Chester Lane for long, is it? I'm sure we'll recognize the majority of our neighbors. Anyway, let's see if anyone else on the street has some information for us. Great. I knew there was going to be a puzzle. Look at that! There's a puzzle dancing around the smoke of the chimney. What are you rooting to? I don't see any puzzle. There's no time to explain to you, and I'll fall away if you don't act quickly. Puzzle 21, a stellar display. Well, it doesn't seem to be that difficult if it's only... 21. You have been given two very different shaped stars. The one on the left is a pointy star, and the one on the right is a flower shaped star. Can you use both of them together to make five circles? Press C briefly over a star to change its size, from small to medium to medium to large. Press and hold A to pick up a star and move and you can move it around and use the other one to rotate. Okay. Again, Nix, go around the mic, not in the mic. Oh, these are probably the ones. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Wait, isn't this? Isn't this it? No, it needs... How many circles? Five circles. One, two, three... F yeah, technically... Okay, they're not perfect circles, but they are circles on the last. Yeah, that one was picky, like the K in the beginning. You did it, you made a new star in the shape of a, of a flower. A star display. Ah, that was a fun puzzle. I'm gonna spot it before it disappeared in a puff of smoke. I mean, yeah, sure, not the worst, but still. I heard a... Uh, I know it wasn't on him, maybe it was on the back? 